I recently saw an ad for an early Apple IIe with factory box and I couldn't pass her up. So I purchased it and brought her home. Unfortunately, the composite video jack had separated from the motherboard. I was about to break out the soldering iron to perform the fix, but I recall seeing an adapter that outputs the VGA from uh, Apple II's on Joe's Computer Museum. So I figured I'd give it a try and make the purchase. And here's what came from Joe's Museum. Uh, I opted for the version with the uh, VGA header extension and the uh, back plate in classic brown. And uh, of course, stickers are always nice. And here we have the A2 vid GA card. It's based on uh, Mark Aiken's Apple II VGA open source project, which outputs the composite output to the standard VGA interface. Uh, according to his GitHub page, uh, it snoops the Apple II's bus activity, creates a shadow copy of the video memory in the Raspberry Pi Pico. Uh, the Pico does its magic and then outputs the video to VGA. Really quite amazing. And we have a VGA cable, which is one foot long. We have a DB15 connector. And then finally, we have the uh, 3D printed backplate. All right, let's install the ribbon cable. Uh, the red stripe indicates pin 1 and you want to match that up with the white dot on the board. And just push it into place. And the same deal with the uh, other end. The red stripe matches up with the white dot. And I just uh, connected the other end of the ribbon cable to a VGA monitor and I powered on. <laughs> wow, that's uh, pixel perfect. Okay, I'm gonna drop it down to uh, 80 column mode. And then just uh, let's do something really quick. That's <laughs> beautiful. And now that we confirmed basic functionality, I installed a uh, floppy drive and I am going to uh, load up my favorite game as a child. <laughs> I love that sound. And the video looks fantastic. Much better than the uh, composite video. All right, let me install this VGA card into my hot rotted Apple IIe, and I'll be right back. And this is my primary Apple IIe. Uh, the uh, A2 VGA card has been installed in slot one. Uh, this particular uh, Apple IIe has an upgraded uh, reactive micro power supply, uh, eight megs of RAM from Garrus Workshop, and a uh, booty card in slot seven. All right, I'm gonna power on the system. Uh, it should boot from the total replay image on the booty card. It's amazing, extremely sharp. And I'm absolutely amazed at how sharp and clear uh, the picture is. And to show how sharp and clear the colors are, let me run the uh, system diagnostics. I'm absolutely amazed. Typically, you'd see a lot of fringing and ghosting. All right, let's permanently install the uh, port.
And let's remove the back plate. Uh, be very careful. Uh, these have gotten really brittle over 40 years. So what we're going to do is pull up on the bottom tab and pull it out. And now I'm going to install the uh, back plate with provisions for the uh, VGA connector. I'm going to slide the bottom of the cover into place and push down on the top tab and insert until you hear the click. Yeah, the uh, dark brown color matches pretty well. And secure the connector to the uh, plate using the supplied screws. And the slot cover is a little loose, but it's definitely cleaner than having a VGA cable coming out of the Apple IIe. Okay, let me set this up and uh, do some testing. I've been extremely impressed with the A2 VGA adapter. Uh, the colors are perfect. Uh, we now get crisp, perfect video. Uh, as a matter of fact, pixel perfect. Uh, no more fringing. And it's so nice to get off the old uh, composite video output. Uh, there is an A2 vid GA config tool where you can modify the scan lines, uh, monochrome on off, etc. But this performs so well as is, I'm going to leave the uh, settings as they are out of the box. Uh, no more having to use a large, heavy, and power-hungry CRT monitor. Uh, no more having to deal with flaky composite jacks that are prone to breaking. And it opens up the Apple II to considerably more monitor options. Uh, the price is extremely reasonable. Uh, less than $50 shipped uh, with the back plate and the header extension options. Uh, I'll probably get a few more <laughs> since I have a couple uh, Apple IIs. Um, I'll put a link to Mark Aiken's GitHub page and Joe's Computer Museum where I purchased the card from uh, in the description below. If you like this video, please click like. And if you would like to see more of my videos, please click subscribe. Thank you.